year, we gather during the month of Nisan to celebrate the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt during Passover. We ask the four questions, drink four cups of wine, and sing about the four children. We must also discuss the importance of Pesach, Matzah, and Maror. And of course, we must mention the ten plagues. During this year in class, we spent a lot of time learning about the ten plagues. We learned the rabbinic explanation. The scientific explanation. And then analyzed how the two agreed or disagreed. Join us as we explore. The, the Ten Plagues! The first plague was blood. Exodus chapter 7 verse 19 says, And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Take your rod and hold out your arm over the waters of Egypt, its rivers, its canals, its ponds, all its bodies of water, and they may turn to blood. There shall be blood throughout the land of Egypt, even in vessels of wood and stone. Not only did the waters of the Nile turn into blood, but all the other water in Egypt turned red. This meant that the Egyptians need to find new sources of water for drinking and bathing. According to the rabbis, the only way the Egyptians could find water was to buy it from the Israelites. If they stole it, it turned instantly into blood. This started the process of paying back the Israelites for many years of slavery. The second plague was frogs. Chapter 8, verse 1 reads, And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Hold out your arm with the rod over the rivers, the canals, and the ponds, and bring up the frogs on the land of Egypt. Aaron held out his arm over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. However, the rabbis noticed something interesting in the text. Verse 2 says that a Hatsfardeya emerged from the Nile. This word is in the singular. A rabbi suggests that when the Egyptians tried to first kill the frog, it would split into many more frogs. Some rabbis think that the frog would burp out baby frogs. These frogs covered the land and crawled into people's throats when they slept it into their food while it baked. The third plague was lice. Chapter 8, verse 12 reads, And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Hold out your rod and strike the dust of the earth, and it shall turn to lice throughout the land of Egypt. This plague used dust because the Egyptians used to make the Israelites sweep the streets of Egypt every day. The fourth plague was Arov. But depending on which Torah translation you are using, the plague is described differently. The Hebrew says the plagues were Hetarov. In the Art Scroll translation, verse 17 reads, I shall incite against you, your servants, your people, your, and your houses, a swarm of wild beasts. However, our Ichaib says, I will let loose swarms of insects against you and your courtiers and your people and your houses. The old JPS translation says, If thou wilt not let my people go, before I will send swarms of flies upon thee, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thy houses.